good evening and thank you for joining me tonight this video is something I've had in mind for months and the idea originally came when I stumbled upon my mother's childhood cubes and I thought how tingly would that be? So I started to gather vintage toys in the hope I could make a video one day. Some of the toys we are going to discover tonight have been in my family for decades and others were found in garage sales or on second hand websites. So Let's have a look at the first one. My mother's wooden cubes. These are from the 50s. Maybe slightly older depending on when they were actually made. are made of a quite light wood maybe pine or poplar I don't think this is oak and the set looks complete So all the letters and numbers. Four different colors. Red. Green. Yellow. And One was green once. Lovely sounds. Now let's see if we can get ASMR from these cubes. Literally, I mean. So, looking for the A. I can see it. Mm, A. First one. S. They're in quite good condition, but some in better shape than others. This one. 
almost looks brand new. And the box is not in very good condition, unfortunately. And I believe there was some kind of lead on it. My nephews play with them, so the story of these cubes is not over yet. All right. What do we have next? These are the perfect ASMR items. I love when other creators use them in their videos. So, I found three boxes in a garage sale. They are from the 70s, I believe. And they were meant uh, for teachers as school supplies. Let's have a look at them. We have games, toys, and these are animals. So, these are simple wooden cubes with a piece of rubber on it. stamps in each box I had to buy an ink pad because there was none with the sets and if there had been one it would probably be totally dry out anyway I really love lead sounds. Yes, a beautiful brown. What are we going to use? Let's try.
didn't choose the right paper for this. Let's try another one. someone jumping in a swimming pool, I guess. And from the third box, what do we have? Mm -hmm. This is a windmill. These are in a perfect condition, ready for many other decades. And the boxes are in good condition as well. was gifted to my grandmother by a friend of hers who had it when she was young so it's probably from the beginning of the 20th century I wasn't sure I would include it in this video because I'm not a doll lover let me tell you a story as a little girl, I had several dolls like most of the girls growing in the 80s and 90s. When I was about 10, I used to read the Errol Stein books, the Fear Street series. I'm pretty sure many of you know about this. And there was that story with a malefic puppet that really frightened me. One day, shortly after reading this specific book, one of the dolls that was in my bedroom moved while I was playing in another corner. Of course, it was probably a harm that dropped or something, but it froze my blood. So I took the doll, buried it deep in my toy's chest and never took it out. And since that day, I often get the feeling that dolls strangely stare at me. But I've seen this one in my grandmother's house since I was born and we are in very good terms. Let's examine it. The head is made of porcelain which was very common then, but also much more expensive than today's plastic dolls. 
not every family could afford one. The limbs are made of some kind of papier mache, and unfortunately, this is easily damaged with time. One of the hands is broken. Same for the legs, and the right foot is not in good condition. The clothes are quite modern. These were made in the 70s with velvet, satin, Embroideries A bit of lace at the end of the sleeves And even if made much later these clothes were actually made by the same person who gave this doll to my grandmother. She died before I was born. She was a good seamstress, obviously. Everything has been made by hand and it fits perfectly the head is in perfect condition so is the hair I think this is horse hair this is one of the materials used at this time Flax was another one. All right. But obviously, my grandmother stored it properly. She must be one century. is not old at all, probably from the 80s or 90s, but it's super cute. I found this on a second-hand website. So, the next one is an item you may have seen twice in my videos. This is a lotto game and I used it in my French lessons all place. But I recently realized that I never showed it in the videos I make about my props and it's a shame because it makes lovely wood sound. Better late than never. The tokens come with six grids. and 
six there were probably eight at the beginning maybe two red and two orange ones they are a bit used but it's quite good my brother and I used to play with this game a lot when we were children but it's quite old maybe from the 50s very simple know how to play with it, it's quite simple. You would choose one or several grids, blend all the tokens in a bag and draw them one by one. The first one to complete his grids was a winner. Your game of chance and nothing else. Again, it's a very light wood. with snow making a snowman with Finally, let's end with something super cozy. An antique cuddly toy. Initially, I wanted to borrow my mother's teddy bear, but it's such in a poor condition that I don't even think it would have survived the journey to my home. So I found this fellow on a second-hand website and thought it was very cute. Many antique teddy bears can be a bit frightening, but Clearly not this one. What do you think? I really like how he seems to look at you with a smile. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? It is from the 50s and it's stuffed with straw like most of the traditional teddy bears in the middle of the 20th century 
So the sound is quite interesting. the feet and arms the head looks fine so are the ears Most of the hair is gone on the legs. The same here. I don't know what feet and head are made of. It's much harder than the rest. Maybe there is just more straw inside. The arms are much softer. give him a little massage so it can spread the straw evenly in all the limbs. Down to the bow. Same. Good. I must be very careful. These are not stuffed. This is just fabric. Probably some kind of thick cotton. Hope you enjoyed this simple video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, we wish you